Hey guys, welcome to Wednesday. My hair is all ridiculous. I'm completely ready for the day, except for my hair. So let's take it out. Actually, really fast before I forget, I'm just gonna do a light spray of hairspray. Just cause it might help. Okay, now let's take them out. It's ridiculous it will fall out a little bit more over the next hour especially but like holy cow um, I don't like combing it out like even with my fingers because I feel like it messes with it too much so I usually like either leave it down for an hour or just throw it up in a ponytail for an hour and let them fall naturally and then I'll style my hair after that so since we're gonna go get in the car in a few minutes I'll just let it fall as we drive and then right before we get there I will style it. And this is what my hair looks like after it's fallen down a bit. I left it a little bit crazy because I feel like a, like a lion or something <laughs> <laughs> with my mane of hair and yeah it's just kind of fun. And it will last like this until I wash it. It will stay it will deflate a little bit as it goes on and continue getting less wavy but for now it's fun time. So you're like, hey, what are you doing with Christopher? Don't you have work? Doesn't he have work? Isn't this Wednesday? Well, I've already told him to head off. Yeah. yeah. So we are on our, well, we're in Connecticut right now and we're on our way to the book barn. We're going to spend at least six hours at the book barn today. <laughs> Plus, uh, some time also with my dad. My dad will be in Connecticut for a work thing uh, for the next couple days, and he's there today. So we're going to meet him for lunch, hang out with him for a little bit. But around that, we are also going to the book park. So we, have, we each have a whole list, a list that we have written out of books that we both want. Yes. And we are hoping to find many of them. Well, we'll see. Yeah, so this is mine. I read it on my phone. and. Yeah, it's all Here's these. Here's mine. It's a lovely. I mean, and some of our books kind of overlap, where it's like, I'm going to get books that I know we'll want, and we'll get books that I know we'll all want. I mean, we'll mostly be, be staying together a lot of the time. Uh, sometimes we'll be interested in different parts of the store. So she might go to a different part of the store, and I might go to a different part of the store, but we can always keep an eye out for each other. We're starting with the science fiction fantasy section, though, because that's probably the section my, we're both most interested in. My entire list is almost entirely science fiction and fantasy, so I want to go to that building first. It's actually, it's the second to last building that we went to in the other book park club, so. It's right there. We're so close. <laughs> we're also so close to the ocean again. I see it. Downtown book barn. You've arrived. Thank yes, we you. have. is better on this one, but the front is slightly better on this one. Giselle is very good at telling which books are the best. <laughs> he asked which one was better. Like when she sees two editions, she can very easily compare the two and decide which one, one she better. wants. Well, look at how yellow the pages are on that one. Yeah, true. Yeah. They have a whole Shakespeare section and theater section in general. And I got another folder. I'm trying to get them like with no creased spines, and I will eventually collect them all with that no creased spines. Even if I have to... Even if I'm down to like three that I need left, I'll just like buy them online or something. Yeah, this, this one. <gasps> What's up? They have Seigneur de Bergerac. <laughs> this building has a lot of stuff in it besides science fiction and fantasy. It has like filmmaking and music and photography and graphic novels and cooking and lots of other stuff like that and horror, horror as well. And they do have, uh, I, this, yeah, this one's cracked though. They have King Lear. We have 12 angry men. I kinda, you finding stuff already? I kind of want to get this. Yeah? The Signet Classics Edition. Cool. I want to look at how ugly his face is. Did they put a sticker over top of his face? Yeah. <laughs> I want to see how ridiculous his nose looks. 
There it is. Look at that stupid nose. <laughs> <laughs> nope, she's gonna go with this one. Yeah. With the, that like isn't better. And it's the Nick with Ridiculous Nose is still there. Yeah. Well, that's the whole point. I know. <laughs> so, they also like, they have, oh, that's so weird. Okay, they have so many Cernier de Bergerac that it starts here and then goes all the way over here and then continues down onto the shelf. <laughs> That's ridiculous, but I mean, I collect books in this edition, so I don't know, but this is so fun. It's a play that I definitely need to read. Dun, 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 horror cat and zombies and lots of mass market paperbacks. Oh boy. I've or I organized my list of books by author's last name, so I can just go through. I was wondering if you did that. Yeah. I thought about doing that with mine, but I decided I didn't feel like it, but... <laughs> It's gonna make it really easy for me. I can yeah. just start at A and move my way over. Yeah. Here's Anthony and I know which books I want from him. Good job. We actually didn't spend nearly as much time as we should have the last time we were here in this section of the store. I, feel like. I was just kind of overwhelmed. didn't spend enough time in any section. That's true. I was just kind of overwhelmed by how much science fiction fantasy they have. But like this whole entire back room plus like way more back there have there's also all science fiction and fantasy. And I was just, I wasn't really looking for anything specific then because I didn't, I didn't know we were stopping here. I didn't even think about it. And so I was just kind of, my mind was just blank the entire time we were here last time. But look at all this stuff. This is both a good and bad sign when this is the first store. I don't know if I'm getting all of it yet. There's really not that I many. It's just like huge book, huge book, huge book, huge book. Yeah, these well, three actually, are, aren't huge books, these three are nice. huge books. The, I have found a few things on my list, but... They don't. They don't have a lot of the stuff that's on my list, which is it's a used bookstore. Like you can't really expect it to. Yeah. But I am happy with what I've found so far. This is also a bad sign. When these are all mine, I just have a slight problem. I did find a King's Quest book though, which I actually looked up and I heard a lot of the positive things about. And so this is like the second book in the series, and I bought the first one like a week ago or something. So. I'm pretty excited about this one. Don't even say anything, you guys. And like, seriously, this is the first place. Really, it's time to pare down. We've got a Fiji box, Fiji water box full of books. This is literally packed, plus three more. So, remainder of three. And we're waiting for my dad. He called while we were in there and said that he wouldn't be here until one something. And it's just about noon right now, and we're both really hungry. I think we're going to go to this Dunkin' Donuts right here and peruse our options. Donuts. <laughs> yeah, just to tide us over, we'll each get one or something and then we can have a real lunch later, yeah. you know. Yeah, I was not, I was like having a hard time aiming the camera at her, sorry. Yeah, so we're gonna save room for lunch, obviously. Lots of room, because I want to eat food at the restaurant, but I We haven't I am... eaten since like 8 a.m., so we're pretty hungry. Yeah. So Giselle got a donut. And I got a pumpkin muffin, which seems like sacrilege going to Dunkin' Donuts and not getting a donut. But the muffin will fill me up more. My stomach kind of hurts because I'm hungry. Same. But it's totally cool. It'll hold me over until lunchtime, and then we can have an exciting lunch with my dad. And we're going over to the next book barn location. We're just walking there. Yeah, we're taking the back way because we had to stop by the car to get some water because I need yeah. to be thirsty. Yeah. Book barn midtown. This is romance and mystery stuff. And children's. And children's, yeah. Never had a muffin from Dunkin' Donuts before. Mm. <laughs> Good? Mm -hmm. I want a bite. Good choice. I like it. It is good. Mm -hmm. I approve. Why is it that people can't read Dennis Lee Hain without seriously cracking the spine? This is the only one that's alright, but I already have it. I really want to collect this series, but all of them are cracked. Actually, I kind of just think that's the just how things go with paperback mysteries. That seems to be the case. My dad's here and we're going to this place, the Black Sheep. It's like an Irish place, apparently. It sounds good. Every like, family has one. What? Every family has one. Has one what? A Black Sheep, oh. There's, that's what's on the sign. Where? Oh, every family has one. That's me. I'm just kidding. Well, maybe I'm not kidding, but still. <laughs> you said you wanted to go inside, right? Yeah, let's do inside. It's hot. So here's our food. 
<laughs> and it's really good. It's calamari. Yeah, we're gonna see. This is an appetizer. Home. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> He's narrating. What is this? It's like a little hot sauce. It's like okay. marinara. It's really spicy. Yeah. Okay. Not real spicy, just a little bit. This is so good, by the way. No. No, it's good. It's good calamari. What did you get? Shrimp. Weird shrimp. It's, it's, like, a it's like a tornado yeah. of shrimp. It was the same thing that Interesting. Thank you. Mm. And you got a wrap? Buffalo chicken. Buffalo chicken. <laughs> With really awesome looking fries. And I, I, I probably yeah, will. Sure, and right. I also, I got clam chowder because clam chowder is my favorite. Mm. It's really good. And here's dessert, which is all Christopher's. I could eat this in one bite if I wanted to. Yeah, you'd <laughs> choke and die. And I'd laugh. Yeah, Christopher, he's a... Uh... Yeah, he could probably just pick up that plate and slurp it down like Jello in the in, uh, Animal House. <laughs> it's triple chocolate cheesecake. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Really good? Mm -hmm. Ten stars? Sure. It's also got caramel sauce on it. You should try it. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> see you later. Bye. 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 We'll see you next month. This is so fun. You're yeah. fine, you're fine. <laughs> I didn't put my face all over you this time. Okay, you take that. All right, well, I'll see you in a couple weeks, I guess. Yes. All right, bye. Yeah. That was fun. It was really nice to see my dad. That was really good. Yeah, I really wish my mom could have been here, but we will see them in a few weeks. They're going to come visit us in a few weeks to come see our new apartment and to come say hi, which will be really fun. And uh, it was a good dinner, a good lunch, like <laughs> good lunch. And we're at the book bar now, except for last time we came, we went into the super secret super special secret entrance entrance we're gonna go through the regular entrance this time because it's different also you can apparently uh well i knew i know they take lots of books every single day like they the guy said he took they take thousands of books all the time like every week or whatever and so they have the little thing over here that says selling books maybe we'll bring some of our we do have like this pile of books that are like just duplicates that we just have collected and somehow and some other books that we don't really care about that we might sell. So we could bring them next time we come, because we're definitely coming again. Let's go. Here we go. Book barn. Book barn. The big one. The actual barn. You're so crooked. Am I? I am very crooked. Whoops. But it's kind of difficult to see the lines. I could see but... them. I wonder why your parking so crooked. <laughs> Here's the regular entrance. It's a little bit different. Have you found something? I did find something. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I just read it earlier this month. Yeah. Last and, month? and you liked this it? Month? You liked it, right? Yeah, I did like it. And it's like perfect condition, brand new hardback. I'm like, look at that. Oh yeah, that's really nice. <sighs> it's looking. so beautiful. I really wanted it to get it in hardback before they get harder to find. Yeah. As hardbacks tend to get once paperbacks are released, so this makes me ridiculously happy. Good. And there, he's found all this other stuff, too. These are actually <laughs> really cool. Hold this. Right. Oh, Curiosity Shop, The Women in White, and Vanity Fair. Oh, I saw Vanity Fair. I, like, I picked that off the shop. I didn't see these other ones, though. Aren't they really cool? Yeah, they are. I'm thinking about them. Yeah. Seriously thinking about them, because they're really awesome.
to carry it like a baby because I think that it will break either way. <laughs> that thing is about to burst. Going to number four. Because we haven't already spent all the money that we allotted ourselves. Nope. Totally not. <laughs> <laughs> we. It's 5 p.m. So, yeah. yeah. Let's let's get this next place out of the way and see what we do from there. <laughs> It's raining outside now, so we left. But we got some stuff. Here's some books that we got. There's, they're in bags. I also bought a t-shirt. Well, Giselle got all these books that are in these two bags right here. And then I got a shirt that says the book barn on it, and it looks really cool. Here, wait, you wanna hold it up for me? So, it looks like that. I love it. Me too, and it says the book barn on the back. And I can wear it too, so. Yeah, we'll probably share it, but it's mine. But I will, but we'll share it. Also, but we, it's got, mine. we got something fun. What do we get? Steve. You know Steve. He collects some of the Penguin Classics Deluxe Editions. I don't think he has this one. If he does, he'll well, have a duplicate and he can give it to somebody. But we saw this and we're like, I don't think Steve has that. So he didn't give us a list of books to look for. So we decided to get him this instead. Yeah. It's a yeah, Deluxe Penguin Classic. So. Yeah, but just, we just thought it would be fun, and so we'll be able to give it to him in a week or two when we see him, so you'll be able to see that too. Yeah. And we're leaving the book barn. We, we stopped at this one again. Yeah, because I wanted to pick up these two books. I took my cat ears off because I wasn't sure about them before, and I was just like, you know what? They're like a dollar each. It's okay. I can get them. And while I was there, I found a couple more things. I found like a Keen's Quest manual book, which is kind of funny, and I'm like, maybe it will help me get through with the third book, the third game finally, because I was having issues with that. And then the other one is a graphic novel that I've already read, but didn't own, so. How do you feel? Good. I'm a little tired and a little hungry, but we're on our way home, and. I got plenty of stuff that I that I'm happy about. She got about three times as much as I did. Or four. <laughs> to be fair, though, the stuff that I bought were mostly all bigger books that I that were bigger than like mass market paperbacks. None of my books were really a dollar. I think I bought one book that was a dollar, and the rest were a little bit more expensive than that. Yeah. A couple dollars or so, and so I it kind of evens out because she got so many books that are just like a dollar. So. Yeah. Yeah. But I did get a lot of stuff that I'm really happy about. I'm really excited to do a haul, and I have to do a couple hauls. I didn't do any hauls this summer, and there's plenty of... I'm just going to go... I'm probably not going to haul every single book that I brought that I brought home from California from her thing, plus uh, all the books we bought. I'm probably not going to do all of them, but I might go through and pick out some of my favorites that I've gotten over the summer and do a haul for those, too. But I'm excited about everything I got. Same. Today was a very fulfilling day. Awesome. Yeah. And we, we both got several things on our list. My list was significantly shorter. I did get a lot less than she did from, like she got more from her list than I got from my list. But like I said, my list was significantly shorter than her list and I did get a pretty decent amount. Yeah, and I got so many things off my list and so many things off of my mental list as well where it's like, oh, I really want that, but I forgot to write it down because there's just too many to write down. But I did find a lot of really great things and then also, there were a lot of books that I was able to buy that like I've already read or I've already read a lot of the books by the author because what I've been doing is I've just been like reading tons and tons of audiobooks from the library. I'm almost at 120 for the year, I think. Yeah. I'm at like 110 audiobooks for the year. So I've been doing that and a lot of the books are like what I would consider favorites of mine now and I'm like, oh, I want to own that but I'm not gonna go buy it. And so this was kind of like a reward for myself for like being patient and spending less money on books yeah. is that I get to 
buy them all used and then buy more of them because there's just so many books that if I was like buying each book I read there, there's no way we could sustain that. Okay. Maybe I should work on reading the books we already own but I came in mind that I wanted a lot of these books in mass market paperback yeah. which is why I got so many like that. Also one more quick note it's seven o'clock. <laughs> Is it really? Oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> it's 7 o'clock. So we've been at the book barn. Well, we took like an hour, hour and a half off to spend with Christopher's father. Yeah. But we got here at like 10.30. Yeah. So, you know, seven hours. <laughs> Insane. No wonder you're feeling like death right now. I kind of am. <laughs> Apparently this is what happens after a long day at the book barn. How are you feeling? Tired. Exhausted. Mm. You want to compare something real quick? Here's the pile of books I chose. Uh, there's some in here that I think Giselle's interested in too. Not really. No, there's a few in here that you're interested in there at the bottom. Oh, and okay. then most of those are hers. Almost well, all of those are hers. He's but. interested in that one, and one of them is a gift for somebody else, and some of them he's interested in. He's lying. But, yeah. But most of them are hers. And this is the pile of stickers that came off all the mass market paperbacks. And there's one over here, and lots right there, and then the rest of them don't have any stickers on them. Except for that mass market paperback on the top, which Chris had already taken care of. There's also a few books over here for some reason. I don't know why Chris put them there. So this is ridiculous. Definitely not going to have to organize tomorrow. And there's definitely going to be ginormous hauls coming up for sure. I just want to show one really cool highlight that I ended up being able to get. These are probably my favorite things that I got. So it's these beautiful collections of Br the Bronte's works. So this one says that it's by Charlotte Bronte. This one is the Bronte, Charlotte Bronte, the Brontes, because some of them have multiple books in them. So this is Shirley, Wuthering Heights, etc., Villette, and Wildfell Hall, and etc. These are nuts. Do you see how tiny they are? Well, they're not abridged. So this has the Tenant of Wildfell Hall, the Professor. The pages are just ridiculously thin. So, The Tenant of Wildfell Hall, yes, that is 200 pages, goes all the way over to here. That's ridiculous. That's 478 pages right there. Nuts. And then the, the professor also completely fits in. Like, this is insane. The books are so long, and they fit them into these tiny little volumes. This one is minuscule, and it's actually, like, so many pages jam-packed into here. Like, it's incredible. Over 500 pages. Like, why don't they make books like this anymore? <laughs> it would certainly help with, like, the epic fantasy books, because it'd make them be a lot less intimidating. So this one has Wuthering Heights, Agnes Grey, and other poems. Like, in insanely gorgeous. And I think these are all from 1905. The last one is Shirley. 650 pages. 650 pages versus 500 pages. So this was just a really fun, cool thing, and I saw them, and I just completely fell in love, and I was like, I have to have them. I don't even care. They're that amazing. So these are being treasured forever, and I'll take them to my grave with me because they're so amazing. By the way, in case you're wondering, the only things I've read by the Brontes are Wuthering Heights, which I think I've actually read twice, and Jane Eyre, even though I'd like to reread Wuthering Heights next month, just for fun, and I really do want to get The Tenant of Wildfell Hall read soon, hopefully. I want to read all of them, I just haven't yet. And that concludes our crazy day at the book barn. Oh, it was so much fun, but it was so exhausting, and Chris actually just went to bed, and I'm gonna do the same. I haven't really updated you guys, but I've been doing really well at waking up recently. I've been waking up at about 7 a.m. every day, which... I could be getting up earlier and I would eventually like to be, but considering that I was not getting up until 9 and then I was like taking naps and stuff, I'm really happy that I've been waking up at 7am and like forcing myself to get out of bed and even if it's just to go sit on the couch and read a book, I'm up. I'm not sleeping 
and I'm not staying up to all hours of the night. It's only midnight right now, so I'll still be able to get like six and a half hours of sleep and still get up at seven, so yay for that. And that's it, so we'll see you tomorrow.